was struck by a couple of things. How calm things seemed to be as I was making my way downtown. Uh, and then I began to see the debris in the road down Madison Street. And I knew that this was not just your run-of-the-mill thunderstorm. I walked past the Glen building in front of him. There was a great big old I-beam or a big beam laying in the road. And uh, I shined my light up at the courthouse on the east side of it. And I saw that big hole in it. And I'm like, man, this is really, really bad. I remember walking with my crew um, and it was eerily silent. We could hear water running out of all the buildings. But I know the old cliche about it looks like a, a war zone. But that's the only thing I can think of. It looked like a war zone, like a bomb had gone off in downtown Clarksville. On January 22, 1999, at approximately 4.15 a.m., an F3 tornado 880 yards wide struck Clarksville, Tennessee. Traveling through downtown Clarksville, 124 buildings were destroyed and over 500 others were damaged over a six-mile radius. In the face of tragedy, Clarksville had to be rebuilt in order for it to have a future. With so much debris littering the streets of downtown Clarksville, the first step to recovery was clearing it. Our first response, we got all of our people uh, at the street department and we said, okay, you're gonna go down this street, you're gonna go down this street. But the other thing that we did that I was so proud of, we had proactively planned for stuff. We'd been through an ice storm and that kind of stuff. So we had these lists of all these contractors. And so we called like four different contractors and say, hey, we need you. Here's what we need. And we need you on this street and bring equipment, bring trucks, and we'll have somebody meet you. But we actually unloaded a bulldozer in the middle of Franklin Street because there was like three roofs in the road right there. And we knew that if we put a rubber tire machine in there, we're going to have flat tires. And so we brought a little small bulldozer down there and we're, we're literally pushing debris with a bulldozer in downtown Clarksville. Clarksville Mayor Joe Pitts, then the executive director of the Chamber of Commerce, handled the efforts to get businesses back on their feet. When I arrived downtown, I made sure that the Chamber of Commerce office building was okay. Of course, the electricity was off for a brief time. We got lights back pretty quickly. So then we made our building uh, available and the Small Business Administration moved in for two or three months uh, to help uh, businesses get started again. Despite the efforts of Mayor Durrett and Mayor Pitts, they couldn't handle the city's rebuilding alone. In a hopeful display of support, Clarksville's community banded together to help the city reach prosperity once again. Immediately, people, who, when they were able to go in there, they started the cleanup right away. I know that the Titans football team came down. Of course, Fort Campbell came over. And the, the whole community just kind of pitched in and, and thought right away that we need to rebuild. And it was that kind of reaction that I got from the community that I thought, well, we're going to be okay. It was so impressive to see in the initial few days of cleanup, all the people that came forward and said, hey, I can do this, I can do that, or what do you want me to do? And it became a really a big job for us just managing all that, not only managing the cleanup, but it was a huge job just managing the resources that we had. In time of crisis, Clarksville comes together. It's neighbor helping neighbor. We saw soldiers out. We saw church groups and other groups come together and clear debris and do everything they could, even bringing food to the emergency workers, because they were work, some of them working 24-7. I mean, it was just astounding. One of the amazing things was to watch the emergency personnel, first responders in the city and county and state and federal government kind of come together and put aside any differences or silos or kingdoms that they'd built. And whatever we needed, they were there to respond. So that was, that was encouraging, very gratifying to see our community pull together in such, in such a critical time. It just kind of tells us that, you know, we can work together if we'll just try. Even as devastating as it was, we were gonna be coming back and it happened. Slowly but surely, the community's efforts began to take shape and Clarksville rediscovered its identity. The tornado that struck Clarksville in 1999 wasn't all tragedy, as it ultimately led to a stronger community 
and a city with a promising future. You still see downtown some of the remnants of like the buildings that were torn down that were demolished by the tornado. They haven't been rebuilt. You see some um, empty lots that just haven't happened, but you also see a lot of brand new buildings that look really nice, a lot nicer than they were. It's taken 20 years, but we see so much progress in what's going on downtown now. You know, if we if we'd have never had a tornado, I don't know that we'd ever have a downtown commons. So that kind of tells you about what maybe some of the things it's done for our future or what it what it's done in the last 20 years and hopefully what it'll mean to the future of our community.